guys! I am finally so excited to show you my new file effects and some other goodies. So first, I'm going to do a quick haul with some things I've picked up in the last couple weeks or so, and, uh, and then I'll show you my new file effects. So I showed you last week that I had gotten um, this Pocket Active, I think it's called. Let's double check. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Pocket Active. Um, so this is, like I said, a pocket size. And I was able to pick up, luckily, um, three sets of the pocket credit card holders. And these hold four cards, two on each side. Um, so I was able to pick up three of those. Those are, whoops, three fifty dollars each. Um, they had them at a stationery store in Highland Park near me. I live in the Chicago area. Uh, well, it's not really near me at all, but <laughs> I uh, went down there specifically to at least get these. I was hoping they would have some other stuff too, but they really didn't have any A5 stuff at all. Um, and they didn't have much pocket stuff either. They just didn't have much of anything, which is sad because I went to that location because it was listed as a gold location, one that would have more file effects goodies, and they had like nothing. So next I'm going to check out a place in Barrington the next time I'm out in that direction to see if I can find anything there and hopefully they will have some stuff. Um, but I'm turning that file effects pocket active into a rewards card organizer so that's why I needed more of those and the website was is currently sold out. So um, Then I went to Target the same day actually and I found one of the OWL sticky notepads. These are from the dollar section. The light bulb sticky notes. So I got two of those. The sticky notes journal, which looks like this. It's a dollar as well. If you guys can see that. There it is. Dun, dun, dun. Two of those. I got some stickers because I'm pretty sure I will be subbing this fall unless I wind up getting a full time teaching position. So I'm going to use these to mark um, on my monthly calendar pages which school I have worked at. So there's more than enough colors here. I'm only planning to sub at three or four different schools. So that way um, I can make sure I'm getting paid by every school I wind up working at. And then they had these in the dollar bins as well. The um, to-do lists that look like little menu or server sheets. So these are cute. I got three of these. Um, they had more, but I didn't want a million. Then I went to the... Um, Marshall's TJ Maxx Home Goods by me, and they had this Mudlark. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this in the file effects. I'm not sure yet, but it has a notepad, and then some small square sticky notes, a large, two larger square sticky notes, and some page flags, and that was two ninety nine. So that was a cute little find, and it matches. You'll see my A five that I got. Then I saw that. Uh, people are going to Staples and finding some of the Martha Stewart stuff on clearance, which I haven't seen any of this stuff in a while. I never bought it when it first came out because it wasn't my style. I'm still not sure if it really is, but I definitely like the sticky notes, and because it was on clearance, I bought everything they had. So what I was able to find were the small note tabs. These were 50 cents, and then everything else was a dollar. So I got the medium note tabs and the large ones. Then they had these sticky notes. I like this little design. Doo -doo -doo. And then I'm not so keen on these, but for a dollar for two sets of sticky for three pads of sticky notes, that's fine. So I got two of those. And then they had these two, these removable color coding labels. Um, I like that they have the little tab, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for yet. Um, but I thought that might be nice, you know, if I need to put a note on something. Um, and they were only a dollar again so and there's 90 of them so I'm not sure if the little tab part is sticky or not so we'll see because that might depend on what I use them for then I went to the Dollar Tree today and they had these puzzle sticky notes which are kinda cute 80 of those for a dollar and these kinda coordinating folders so this one looks kinda like Tetris now these are large regular A4 size folders and this one has the cool chevron print. And I'm thinking I'm going to try and cut them down, saving the pocket side to fit in my A5. We'll see if that works. I don't know. If not, I only spent a dollar or 50 cents each, so it's not a big deal. Now, for the big reveal, da-da-da-da, 
A5 Raspberry Finsberry. I got this off of someone um, in the File Effectsy Facebook group. You can see here there is a little bit where the um, this is worn down as well as on the very top. I don't know if you can even see that right here and then on the bottom. I did read that the Finsberries have a tendency to start wearing in those areas. This is my first A5. Um, I got a decent deal on it, you know, not got like 25% off, I guess I'd say so, uh, including shipping. So that's not bad. And it's still, you know, a nicer leather as opposed to like, I was thinking of getting a fusion and I might still eventually, but, um, I really wanted a, a pink one. <laughs> so, and I really wanted an A5 size. Um, snap is in excellent condition. Everything else is in excellent condition. Zipper works. There's one full length zipper here, the mesh pocket, two credit card slots and the mesh credit card slot and then three more here a full slip pocket here the rings are in excellent condition it doesn't even ever look like she opened it up and then the full notepad pocket here which I did just order a notepad on Amazon for and then two pen loops unfortunately not elasticized but that was what you get when you buy a Finsbury so there it is so that's my new a5 I am going from a Franklin Covey Classic, I guess this is. I spilled coffee on it once. Yuck. I'm going to try and clean it and see if anybody's interested in a swap for it. So I'll be listing that on the swap page pretty soon. Um, it's in great shape, except for that spot where I spilled some coffee. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to try and clean it up. Um, that's my business card information. It is a, all I know is it's a Franklin Covey 365. It's got a ton of credit card slots. Nice big pocket there, a nice zipper pocket, a big huge slip pocket, really good size rings. I'm pretty sure these are bigger than the Finsbury. Eh, maybe the same, I'm not sure. Um, but of course I have to go through now and repunch everything, which makes me sad. But that makes me happy. <laughs> um, I'm not going to walk you through my whole binder right now because once I get it set up in the Finsbury, I will do a quick walk through an overview of how I have it set up. So um, if you have any questions about anything in my haul or my new file effects, oh, it's beautiful. Um, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.